going on guys Ryan knows tech here today from techinform.us and today's video is another request about connecting an external monitor to your Mac MacBook whatever kind of Mac you're using in OS 10 so this demonstration is being done in a 13 inch MacBook Pro the early 2010 model and the monitor happens to be an Asus uh, V32 or V23 32H 32 something like that it's got twos and threes in it so uh, it's a 1080p monitor we're going to use a a mini display to DVI out to the monitor. You can use VGA, HDMI, whatever kind of um, video cable you like. Um, this monitor has HDMI. I don't have a DVI cable. The thing with Macs, most of them, newer, uh, any new Mac, doesn't have a VGA, a, a DVI, and a uh, HDMI. They just have a mini display port. So then you have to go out and buy the adapter um, depending on which method you want. That just keeps it clean and makes them more money, quite frankly. So once you have it plugged in, um, I am not able to reset all of my preferences, so I can't tell you exactly what it's good, gonna do when you first plug it in, but I will show you how to set it up. Pretty easy, actually. Go into System Preferences. You can probably guess from here, it's under Hardware, Displays. Here it is. On each monitor, if it already found your other monitor, on each monitor, you get one of these windows. Since this video is being recorded on this monitor, you only see the one for Asus or ASUS VH232H. On the other monitor, I think I can drag that over. Here it is. This is the color LCD. Well, that display is 1280 by 800. It has its own uh, brightness meter here, which is nice. You can calibrate your color if you want to, but that goes over here for the MacBook Pro display. Here's my other display. I have it set 1920 by 1080, 60 hertz, and the rotation is pretty is, uh, is um, standard. Don't have any rotation effect on it. Um, most likely, when you first open this, this is going to be on your MacBook Pro screen. Um, and it's going to say probably 1280 by 800 because that's what most, um, well, that's what all 13 inch laptops are. If you have a 14 or a 15 inch, it would be 1440 by 900. What you want to do is go to Arrangement. From here, you can see that here is the, uh, the MacBook Pro displays to the left. And then this display here, um, notice it's outlined in red, is to the right, and that's the Asus. So that means my MacBook Pro display is on the left, and the top of the screen's aligned. So when I drag that over like that, at the top of the MacBook Pro screen, that's there. If I come down to the bottom here and drag it over, it's totally cut off. I can barely even see it. So this kind of affects where that's located. You can mirror the displays. I don't want to click that because then it might screw up the video recording. But mirroring the displays sounds like what you want to do until you realize that it has to have one resolution. Well, I don't want to use 128800 on the big screen, and the little screen can't do 1920 by 1080, 1080p, so I have to keep them separate, not mirror them, but just put them next to each other like this. In OS 10, there is no option to um, just use one display and like not even use a laptop display, close the lid on it. You do that, it's going to go to sleep. Now you can use a mouse or a keyboard to work it up and then it'll work like that or wake it up and then it will work like I just described but you have to put it to sleep first and that takes some time. Not much but it still takes time. So the best way I found to do it is just to leave your big monitor forefront. See it has the white bar on the top. I can move the white bar over here if I want. That white bar is the, the dock, the bar up at the top. That essentially chooses which is your main monitor. So my main monitor is my big one. I have the little one over there. If I want to drag stuff over there to read on the side, I can do that. Nice dual screen setup here. Or I can just turn off the display as in pushing the F1 key to turn the brightness all the way down. Close the lid almost, you know, close it two inches from closing and then it won't go to sleep. And, and that's just the way I do it. That seems to be the best way that I can figure out how to do it. It's really easy to set up. It really is not a difficult process. Um, if you, the user who... Um, sent me this request. If you run into any problems, of course, come back. But everything is in these settings here um, under display and arrangement. Uh, just, just easy. Mac OS makes it real easy to do all this stuff. So any questions, leave them below. Thanks for watching. This is how to connect an external display to your Mac of any type, including a cinema display. I believe they work the same unless Apple built in some firmware that says, oh, cinema display, let's make it work right instead of having uh, 
to set as default unless you want the same resolution on both monitors. So our website is techinform.us. My personal Twitter, if you'd like to follow me, is twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. Links down below. And then our live web show times have changed. They're now 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, on ustream.tv slash user slash techinform.us. I got rid of that first hour. One, I don't have the time. Two, there aren't that many people recently, and it's pretty slow. And uh, three, I just think it's going to make for a more productive hour when everybody can be there. So again, that's 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That would be 5 to 6 p.m. Pacific Time if you're over there on the nice part of the country. So uh, I'll see you guys next Tuesday or in tomorrow's uh, Thursday's video. Thanks for watching this one. Please subscribe if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up and leave your comments below. Bye.